Hey everybody, Deborah from Very Best Little Hair House here. And today I wanted to take a few minutes and encourage you to think about changing your styles and colors. Uh, when you come to a consultation here, one of the things I can help you do is fast forward through the years of wig wearing because you don't always get it right the first time coming out of the box. But here are some of the tips and tricks I did to get myself to the courage to wear different colors, different styles, what have you. Um, it wasn't always that way. I have anxiety myself. My heart beats really fast. Like I don't want anyone to know that I'm wearing a wig. And yes, I'm a wig shop owner. But let's just talk about this right now because I think more of us worry about this kind of thing than we admit to. But anyway. It wasn't always to the point where I had no qualms about changing colors, styles, lengths, or what have you. It was a process. But some general tips I can give you when you're at home and you want to switch your color, start with a subtle change. If you want to change from straight to wavy, let that be your first change and stick to the same color. Or if you're going to change, you know, from to drastic color change, do it, but keep a very similar style. I found that is the easiest way to segue into changing colors and styles. Now, one of the best times to do this is when you find an opportunity to grab something that you really wanted on sale. Um, sometimes that makes you have a little more courage to put the money out because it's not such an investment. So if nothing else, think of it like that, thinking of that you want to try something new is a good excuse to go ahead and get you that other wig. But anyway, when I put a new color on, and trust me, I did not wear colors for quite a long time. I've been wearing wigs about 20 years. I think the first blonde wig I wore, I was 15 to 16 years into wearing wigs. I have naturally dark hair. I didn't think anyone would believe anything but that on me. So it kind of held me back. And when I got the shop, I got enough courage um, to try and wear other colors. And oddly enough, that came about because people, when I put photos of the wig on the mannequin, they would wanna see what it looked like on a person. So being a small business owner, I'm the only person that I have to model it. So I would take selfies and pictures with, you know, the wig on or the color and it never failed. I got compliments on the lighter ones. And sometimes the encouragement from somebody else is enough to get you to get a little bit braver. But anyway, it wasn't always easy. I had to work through the anxiety. I still have it sometimes now if I've worn a style and a color for a while and I switch, sometimes I'll still have second thoughts. So second thoughts are normal when you're changing styles and colors. So don't let that stop you. First thing I do when I get home and put the wig on, comb it out, look in the mirror, I ask myself, is it believable? Not, is it the same color as what I had? Not, it doesn't look exactly the same. Just overall, is what I have on believable? This really helps if you're doing an extreme style or color change because it's not gonna be what your eye is used to seeing you look like in the mirror. So, uh, if, is it believable is one of the first things I ask myself. Second, the hairline or the part. If you're wearing a classic cap with a bang, you don't have to worry so much about that, but I double check my hairline and make sure it's believable. And um, any of the wigs I sell in my shop have a hair, a lace front ready to go. Cause I see a lot of care videos about plucking this and bleaching that. And that there are wigs out there that you don't have to do it to. And that's where I prefer, if I'm gonna to have to wear a wig in a professional situation day after day, I'd prefer a lace front that's ready to go. But anyway, more about that in a different video. The other thing after your hairline, your part, make sure that looks okay. Is there any movement? Because some of the wigs today, we tend to like overspray and like shellac it down. And when you don't have any movement on your wig, like it's okay for little hairs to do that. That's what real hair does. So if you have to do that to your wig, don't let it stop you from wearing it. I catch a lot of the adjustments that I have to do to get my wig to look like it does while wearing it at home. 
So when you get a new wig, my advice to you is wear it in the house the first day. You can do your little uh, directing, your lace front and your part or whatever. And if you're at home, you'll start to get used to yourself as you see yourself in different mirrors. And that is key. Once you get used to the change, you're going to get braver about wearing it up. Um, uh, if you get a wig and you hate it when you get home, don't let that stop you either. I go through this all the time. I have had wigs that I was second guessing, but you know what? When I tried them on on a different day, I had a different opinion. So if you get a wig that you feel you're disappointed with, don't get upset, but don't rule it out. Give it another chance on another day. Um, you know, sometimes it, it's, I think we all worry a little too much and giving something another chance can make a difference. Also, I learned quite a bit from wigs that I had to wear. Like say I bought it and it was not returnable and I had second thoughts, so I wore it anyway. Nine times out of 10, somebody complimented me on it or asked who did my hair. So sometimes that's my other message to you is that our self-talk isn't always accurate. So, you know, don't give up on something you don't have hope for right now because it, now I can tell you wig stories about ones I ended up wearing that end becoming my favorite. Um, about the mirror, continue to look to yourself in the mirror while you're wearing it at home. You will get used to it, but it does take some time. Give it some time. Like if you look in the mirror a couple times and you're just like, mm, no, still give it some time. If you have the day at home to spend, just give yourself some time and trust me, nine times out of 10, you will get more used to it than you expect. Then once you're out the door and the compliments start rolling in, it becomes a lot easier to make brave changes. But still, after all of these years, after having a wig shop, and to me, wigs are like candy. I get a shipment, it's like Christmas morning. And I learn a lot by trying wigs on and seeing, so that way I can help my customers better because I know what's gonna be density, what's gonna be you know, sleek, what would I have to worry about if I wore this wig? But um, sometimes they take some time to get used to. And just give yourself a chance. Um, and if there is a video subject you'd like me to cover, go through the website and submit on the comment form or message me on Facebook. We also have a YouTube channel where I'm trying to put up lots of short videos that are advice, not only from someone who wears wigs, but who assists other people to find their dream wig. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I worked through my anxiety to do it. So drop me a line and let me know and thanks until next time.